Today we're looking at importing files and the contents of files into our document. And here you can see, this is an example I have done. I think the last video I did was two years ago around this. So this is just an update around. You can see in the first section, we are going to insert the contents of these files into this document. For these three, we are going to insert the file as an object and it's got to display as an icon, right? And then for this one, we're going to insert the file as an object. We don't want it to display as an icon, but we want it to link to the original file. Okay, so let's go and have a look at that. So for cats.txt, I'm just going to go down one line. And in order for me to do this, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to the insert tab. From there, I'm going to go over to this section. Now on some of your ribbons, depending on which version you're using or what it looks like. Um, it'll either say object or it'll just display like this. Please um, don't think that it's gone. It's not gone. It's still there. So uh, here we have object and we have text from file. So I'm going to click on text from file because remember that is what I want. So I click on text from file and now I need to navigate to that particular file. And in this case, it's cat dot or oh, sorry cats dot txt so i'm gonna go and find that and once i have that you'll see i might not find it like this and the reason is remember over here it's saying all word documents now that as we know is a plain text file so i can either go all files um, or i can just say text file in this case text file cats do you see Double click on it and there's the contents of that file. Okay, let's go to info.csv. I can, I know this is an Excel um, type file. So I click in there. I'm going to go insert again. I'm going to go object. This time also text from file. And I need to change the type of file that I'm looking for. So I can, let's see, I don't have a CSV here. So I can just say all files. And there we go. There's info. Do you see what happens when I keep my mouse pointer over that? It actually says Excel comma separated values file CSV file. Double click on it. And there I've brought the contents into uh, my document. Right. Let's go down. The next three cats.txt. They want me to insert it as an object now and have an icon displayed as well. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to navigate to the same place, but this time I'm going to say display as icon. And guys, you can click on change icon and do that, but you only do that if they ask you to. Okay. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to info.csv and I'm going to do exactly the same thing because they want me to do the same thing. Browse info.csv display as icon. Click OK. All right. Herb garden, exactly the same object, create from file. Remember, we're choosing create from file because we are selecting a file that already exists. Browse, and I'm going to go to herb garden, display as icon, done. Okay, so if I just move this up a little bit, you can see there are my three files inserted as objects, and I have them displayed as an icon. Right, last one. Here we go. Now, insert uh, the object into this document. So again, right, object, and it's Herb Garden. So it's a file that's created. I'm going to go browse. I'm going to go and find it. Beautiful. That's okay. What are they saying? Do not display it as an icon. So I'm not going to tick this, but link it to the original file. Link to original file and click OK. So what this is going to do is if any changes are made in the original file, I can update this um, and those changes will come through over here as well. And guys, this is how we import um, into our document from other file formats.